Now let's see what are the reactions of bases. So first reaction is reaction with reaction with metal. So what is the reaction between base and a metal? So let us write the general equation base plus metal gives salt and hydrogen gas. So in this case base reacts with a metal produces salt and a hydrogen gas. Let's see one example. Sodium hydroxide, the common base is sodium hydroxide plus zinc metal, the metal we are taking as zinc. The corresponding salt is sodium syngate Na2ZnO2. So this is the formula of the salt form. This is the salt and hydrogen gas is evolved. So the salt's name is sodium syngate. So you have to study the name sodium syngate. This is the name of the salt form. So we need to balance this equation by adding 2 as the coefficient. So sodium hydroxide is the common base we are using and zinc is the metal. In this case sodium syngate salt and hydrogen gas are formed. So similar to the reaction of acid and metal, here also we can see the products are salt and hydrogen. So if we are doing this experiment in the laboratory, in this case also we can see hydrogen bubbles are formed in the test tube. So sodium syngate is the salt and hydrogen gas are the products. The salt formed is sodium syngate and the gas produced is hydrogen. So if we are doing this experiment in the laboratory, in a test tube, we are putting zinc metals, zinc metals or zinc pieces or zinc granules in the test tube. If it is zinc, we are adding sodium hydroxide solution and oil solution. We can see bubbles are formed. Bubbles are formed on the surface of zinc metal. On the surface of zinc metal, we can see hydrogen bubbles are formed. So here also, hydrogen gas is evolved on the surface of zinc metal. So this is similar to the reaction between acid and metal. So base reacts with zinc produces or base react with metal produces salt and hydrogen gas. So salt and hydrogen gas are the products in this case. So let's see the next reaction. So the next reaction is reaction with acid. So base reacts with acid gives salt and water. So this also we have studied in the case of acids. Base reacts with acid produces salt and water. We can write the same example as we have studied in the case of acid. Sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid produces sodium chloride and water. So when sodium hydroxide base reacts with hydrochloric acid solution produces sodium chloride salt and water. So this reaction is known as neutralization reaction. So neutralization reaction means neutralization is the reaction between acid and base or base and acid produces salt and water. So this is the second reaction of base base that is reaction with the acid. This is the second reaction. Now let us see the third reaction. Let's see the third reaction that is reaction with non-metallic oxides reaction with non-metallic oxide. So base reacts with a non-metallic oxide produces salt and 
water. So salt and water are produced when base reacts with a non-metallic oxide. The non-metallic nox oxide is the non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature. So the nature of non-metallic oxide is acidic. So the non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature. So we can expect a neutralization reaction in this case also. So let us take one example. CaOH twice. This is an example of a base called a calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide plus non-metallic oxide we are taking carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is a non-metallic oxide. Carbon is a non-metal. So carbon dioxide is a non-metallic base. So non-metallic oxide. So carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide. We have seen this equation before. That is when carbon dioxide pass through lime water, the lime water turns milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate. This equation you, you have already studied. So in this case, calcium carbonate salt is formed. So this is calcium hydroxide. This is calcium hydroxide. This is an example of a base. This is carbon dioxide. This is non-metallic oxide. Non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature. And both reacts together to form the corresponding salt. This salt is calcium carbonate. So calcium carbonate is the salt and water as the byproduct. So we know that base and acid produces salt and water. That is a neutralization reaction. So similar to that reaction, base reacts with a non-metallic oxide produces salt and water. Since non-metallic oxide is acidic in nature. So here the base we have taken is calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide is a base. Carbon dioxide is a non-metallic oxide. Since carbon is a non-metal, so carbon dioxide is a non-metallic oxide which is acidic in nature. So both reacts together to produce salt and water. So these are the reactions of bases.